Outlook Mail slow. I have tried to send mail through Outlook, but it took over 30 minutes to send a, a file attachment of just two megabytes. Oh, wow. It is happening for the first time. Where is the problem? That's a good one. And I'm assuming it's an Outlook, desktop Outlook. And um, so, well, here's the thing. I've seen this type of issue on desktop Outlook, and I'll, and I'll show you how you guys can go through and um, reset that in a way where the pretty much the only thing you can do when it comes to these type of issue is to reset and recreate the mail profile at the local level, at the computer level. So let's kind of stick with that. Um, I think I've, in the past I've talked about web web version of Outlook, and there are some issues with that that can be that can cause this problem. But in this case, it's either profile is um, it's either uh, messed up or um, there is an issue with the exchange server that means that you know it, this, things are just slow and you can double check this to see if other people are having this issue if you're working in a business environment now 30 minutes to send a file attachment of just two megabytes is is super slow so check to see if other people are having this issue if it's just you then the issue is with you right the other thing that i might assume and which is really really rare is that you ran out of room uh, in your inbox which shouldn't be the case which shouldn't be the case what i'm leaning towards in these type of issues when it's not apparent is that there's your, your profile, your cache data on your local profile for mail specifically is corrupted or it just needs to be reset. So for those reasons, let's go to control panel of your local computer. And I'm going to minimize this. And where it says here, view by category, I'm going to make this small icon so that way these menus expand. So I don't have to look for what I'm exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to make it small icons. You can see how everything expands and there's actually way more stuff in here. What I'm looking for is a profile or uh, a menu here that's called mail, local mail. And I don't see it. Maybe I should just do a search. Wow. It's not, is, is it not in Windows 10 anymore? Wow. Okay that's weird there should be a mail mail icon here well probably because i don't have outlook installed anyways there should be a mail icon it's called just called mail in here in control panel if i have a video i'll link it or either insert it if possible so you guys can see me actually working on this So what I'm looking for is actually an icon that's called Mail within Control Panel. What this does, whenever I click on it, which is what I just did, it opens up our Mail setup for Outlook. If you don't have Outlook installed, or you know Microsoft Office, if you will, and you know, Outlook comes as part of the Office, this icon will not be present inside of Control, control Panel. But here we are at the right place. Now, when it comes to troubleshooting, um, you know, server connection, in our case, Exchange server um, connections, we have to look at our email account settings, which is the very first thing we have here. So that makes it pretty easy. And I'll actually go back down here to kind of show you what these other things are as well. So let's look at email accounts. So right now I have set up uh, what is uh, basically called IMAP. Uh, slash SMTP server settings for a Gmail account that I'm using. But nonetheless, um, this is how will it will look like um, on uh, in a business environment. You would have your email address here and it would tell you what, what type of uh, you know account you have set up. Now, let me show you. This is exactly what happens when a user logs into the computer for the first time and they've never opened up Outlook ever, right? This is the first thing they will um, get right here. So if someone 
logs in, into a computer for the first time ever and they try to open up Outlook. You know, they go in here and they find Outlook, right? There's Outlook and then you click on it. This is the first thing will that will show up because an account has never been configured previously. Typically in a domain type of environment, so, you know, business environment, right? Um, your, um, you know, exchange server settings, so your email settings for your domain account will be, you know, attached to itself, right? So that means that your domain login, so login for your computer, you know, whenever you log into your computer, you see how I'm logged in right now, right? So if I sign out, right, right here, sign out, and then I log in with a different uh, login, and it happens to be a domain login, it will have my email account information attached to it. So when I open up Outlook for the first time, this is this will automatically populate, of course, if set up correctly, but this is usually what happens. This will automatically populate, and it would be, as, as in an example below, it would say something like this. For example, Alan Adams, you know, it, this whole thing would be filled out. Alan at Contasso.com and it would fill out your password automatically because it uses your login information to fill this out and that way it automatically connects to the Exchange server, right? So once this is filled out, it will, it will basically do it on, you know, most of the time we'll do it on its own. And then you simply connect, click next, I'm sorry. And then it would go through this and, and it's not going to connect now, obviously, but it would connect and it would, you know, it would do its thing. And then you would simply click finish and then you would get to your inbox. It would just, it will look just like this. You know, once we're done with that, you open up Outlook and it will look like this, you know, similar like this, you know, it wouldn't have Gmail, but it would have inbox and you know you'd have your emails in there and whatnot right so that's what i would do man i hope i found that video i apologize if i didn't but i know i have a video somewhere that talks about that okay so i'm going to reply i'm going to say try resetting slash creating a new pro local mail profile from control panel so I'm going to say step one open control panel on your computer step two open mail and, and then create a new email profile I'm going to say yeah please let me know if that worked I'm gonna leave it open for now all right guys so I'm gonna leave it at that for for this video there will be two videos this week so this one's going to be released uh, let me see here Wednesday so tomorrow and and it's gonna this this for the reason this was a little bit shorter for that uh, but I will have another one on Sunday. A new video that we will continue working on these tickets. Thank you so much for watching. I want to say special thank you to people who became members of the channel. Thank you so much. It's appreciated. And uh, lastly, I want to talk about, uh, I guess, a comment that I saw. It looked like somebody was stressed out working help desk. And um, they were, it looks like they were struggling and, 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 uh, they left a comment and it kind of kind of seemed like cry for help in, in in a sense where they were stressed out and this can happen in in a in a help desk in any call center type of environment where you deal with a lot of people and it can be stressful for sure and and not all the time it just depends which company you work for 
some help desks are very laid back some of them are super busy and it can be tiring exhausting and and stressful sometimes but the help desk is a great place to start your IT career and it's okay and it's okay to get into the positions where you do get stressed out it's not okay to get stressed out but you got to put yourself into those positions to at least kind of have an idea of what to expect uh, when it comes to working help desk and not just that uh, even if you stop when even when you stop working help desk and this goes for any job when there is no job where somebody hasn't complained about anything ask your friend that, that's currently working ask your mom your dad your cousins your family or anybody you know ask them how the, how their day was at work and there's a high chance that they will complain about something because life in general is just stressful i guess my point is just hang in there hang in there it's not if it's something that's not your fault and i'm sure most people don't think it's their fault then don't beat yourself up over it because it's a passing thing everything's passing even including life so everything's just going into passing and don't let it bother you too much and, and just you know do your best and 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 do what you can to resolve any issues that you may have come across if you can't resolve them it's okay to ask somebody else for help and advice especially if you're about to make a big mistake by you know cursing the customer out or something you know yelling at them that's the last thing you want to do even even though you feel like sometimes you might want to do that just ask somebody else for help and their advice you know and if they're and, and if they're a good friend good manager good supervisor they will tell you what you need to do uh, before you get yourself in trouble but it's it, it's to be expected um, that, that sometimes you will come across a stressful issue and it's normal just you got to learn how to deal with it in, in a in a way that benefits you the most and, and that way it doesn't affect you or your health your mental or physical health you know what I mean so I, I, I don't know why I kind of left it on that but I just kind of want to touch on that because it does happen I get stressed out sometimes too so I totally understand that okay I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, uh, wish you best to you and your family bye bye